here you go from the hood to Hollywood, you're on these sets, but you realize being in front of the camera, although yeah. it's great, yeah, you know, good money, yeah. but you true found your true passion, you found yeah. your true purpose yeah. writing. Let's yeah. talk about your book for a second. How did that yeah. come into fruition? Yeah, so that came into fruition. I was, uh, I, I was doing the press tour for Transformers because I had gotten in enough to be part of the press uh, circuit. And I was on the Today Show and with Kathy Lee Gifford and Hoda. And when I was on the Today Show, you know, they were like, hey, share your story. Kind of like what we're doing now, but obviously it's a shorter time for them. You know, they was like, share your story. So I'm sharing my story live on air on the Today Show and live on the air. Kathy Lee says, man, you need to write a book and your book needs to be a movie because this is the crazy stuff. <laughs> 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 and I was like, I like, you can watch the clip, it's still on YouTube and I laugh. I'm like, yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. And then when we got off the air, she pulled me aside, Kathy, and she's like, Miami, I was, I was serious. I wasn't just saying that for the camera. She was like, you have such an inspiring story, and you need to write a book because it can help so many people. And I was like, nah, I don't want to do that. And she was like, why not? And I explained to her, you know, in, in the SEAL teams, man, it's really, it's, it's, it's not a good thing to write a book because a lot of guys have, have written books out of the wrong reasons. And, you know, and, and it's caused the SEAL teams to get a black eye. You know what I mean? And and I, I had, I've had and I still have a great reputation in the SEAL teams. They, they're saying in the SEAL teams, your reputation starts in buds and it lasts your entire career. And that's real. In the SEAL teams, your reputation is everything. Even when you're right, people refer to you as who you were when you were in. And I didn't want to lose that. And I explained this to her and she was just like, Remy, but I know your heart. I could tell that your heart isn't to point your finger at your chest and say, hey, look at me, I was a Navy SEAL, I did this mission, I did that. I know your heart will be to inspire people. And so just think about that. And if you do, I will walk you to the head person at HarperCollins to sign you to a book deal. And I thought about it, man, and I was just like, yeah, you know, I, I really examined my heart and examined who I was. And I was just like, you know what? My heart is not to, my, not to promote to, to, you know, who I was as a seal or beat my chest. My heart is not even to tell a whole, use a whole book. In reality, there's only three chapters in a book where I focus on operations as a seal. And I did that strategically because I wanted it to be a story of my life. And I wanted people to see my ups, my, my downs, my failures, where I started. How to, I wanted people to see all of that and say, you know what? And I could do and so that's when, you know, she walked me to the publisher and I signed my book deal with HarperCollins. And, uh, and, you know, and, and, you know I, I wrote the book. You know, I wrote the book myself. You know, I was going to have my mom help write, but, you know, she wrote a chapter and it wasn't my voice. It wasn't me. It was her telling her story. And I know my mom the way she is, and you can relate to this. A lot of, you know, a lot of, you know, African-Americans and minorities can relate to this in general. You know, uh, there's a lot of things mamas don't want to get out of there. There you go. There's a lot of things mom would want to keep in the closet. And I noticed that, you know, in a chapter that my mom was hiding a lot of things because she didn't want to look bad. She didn't want people to realize the person I was. And I was just like, I can't do that. So I, you know, I, I, I fired her, but not in a bad way. I kind of, you know, moved it to the side and I wrote the book myself. And I sat at that computer, this computer, this very room, this office where I'm at right now. And I worked till two in the morning, three in the morning, writing, writing, writing. Now, How long did it take you to write your book? It took me four and a half months. Wow. And, and you know, I can see it, obviously, it's to your back. Your book is right behind yeah. you. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I wish you would have had it closer because I'd love oh, to. Oh, I'll bring it closer. Oh, Wait, go ahead and get it. Let's sell that book, Remy. Transform. Let, let, like let's this. sell that book, Remy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell us where we can find it. Yeah. You can find it anywhere where the books are sold, Amazon, Barnes and Nobles, BAM, eBooks, Audible, iTunes, everywhere. As a matter of fact, the paperback drops in uh, on May 26th, which is in two weeks. And I'm excited about that because um, I go to prisons, I go to jails, I share my story, I speak, I try to inspire those those men, young men and old, that you know their life is not over, even though that they're even though they're locked up, and but prisons don't allow our couple books, and so I'm excited about the book finally coming out on paperback on May 26th because now 
you know, the paperback guys in prisons can get the book and get inspired and, and, and jail. So, yeah, man, it's transformed. Navy SEALs' unlikely journey from the throne of Africa to the streets of the Bronx is defying all odds. Hey. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.